If you're looking to help emulate the same styling found on one of the baddest Mustangs of all time, then the Speedform GT500 style spoiler here would be a must-have addition for your 2010 through 2014 Mustang. The Speedform option will combine a durable yet lightweight ABS plastic for the build, while also incorporating that pre-painted finish to perfectly match just about any color S197 there is. Price point's gonna hover right around 300 bucks, and the install, according to the site, will get a two out of three wrenches on the old difficulty meter and take a couple of hours to complete from start to finish, as we'll show you guys later in the video. So in my humble opinion, this is one of the best looking spoilers out there for the 2010 through 2014 cars, as it just balances the right amount of aggressiveness while still maintaining a little bit of that OE feel. Now, I might be a bit biased here as I do have it installed on my S197 at home, but honestly guys, I have no intention of taking that thing off anytime soon as it really just kind of completes the rear end of the car. But as we mentioned earlier, the inspiration behind this particular spoiler is pretty clear, right? This one's obviously modeled after the same spoiler used on the mighty S197 Shelby GT500 and does feature the same styling cues like the same basic overall shape, same kind of rake coming off the deck lid, and then finally your little detail towards the rear of the spoiler here. Now, unlike the factory Shelby GT500, which does feature a black gurney flap in this location, the speed form is just gonna paint match this portion to the rest of the spoiler. However, if you're a little creative and handy with paint or plasti dip, you could always black out this portion here as I have with mine at home. Materials are gonna be pretty standard here for the spoiler as you're looking at a pressure molded ABS plastic for the overall build before being painted in our in-house state-of-the-art paint booth here at AM. Now, if you guys didn't know, our AM team sprays the same base and clear coat that Ford uses on their Mustang, so you guys can expect a damn near perfect color match for your ride right out of the box. As always, guys, not a bad idea just to double check the paint code on the site and the availability before pulling the trigger. And hey, while you're there, feel free to read up on the numerous five-star reviews with this product and check out some of the customer submitted images to get a better idea of how the spoiler will look on your ride at home. One thing to note here, gang, is that Speedform states that the spoiler is not, I repeat, not compatible with cars equipped with a factory backup camera, so just be mindful of that before ordering. Also, the Speedform spoiler will mount using the existing holes left by your factory spoiler. Now, if you don't have a factory option installed on your car, then you will need to drill. There's really no getting around that. But to give you a better idea of how the installation is gonna go down, here's a detailed walkthrough as promised earlier, along with a quick tool breakdown. The tools used for this install were quarter inch impact driver, 10 millimeter socket, alcohol prep pads, a damp microfiber cloth, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a clip panel tool. So the first step to this install is gonna to be to pop your trunk and to remove the 13 clips that hold the interior panel to the trunk lid. Next, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the four factory nuts that hold the spoiler to the deck lid. With our hardware removed, we can go ahead and remove our factory spoiler. Now ours has been off a few times, so it came off pretty easily. You may have to deal with a little bit of 3M stuck to the deck lid, and you can remove this with a plastic scraper, some adhesive remover, or an eraser wheel if you have one. Next, I'm gonna use a damp microfiber cloth to clean the surface of the deck lid before I use my alcohol prep pads. And now I can use the provided alcohol prep pads to wipe down all the surfaces where the 3M is gonna make contact. Now I'm gonna start by peeling back the corners of my 3M tape before I stick it onto the deck lid.
Now I can carefully place the spoiler onto the deck lid and line up my bolt holes. Now I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to install my supplied hardware. I'm going to keep these screws a little bit loose so that I can pull off the backing for my 3M tape, but I want to get them all started first so they all line up. Now I can slowly pull back the tape, make sure I have good adhesion, and then tighten up the rest of my screws. And now I can fully tighten up my screws. And now finally you can reinstall your inner deck lid panel. And that's gonna wrap up this review and install for the Speedform GT500 style spoiler for your 10 to 14 Mustang. Thanks for watching, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.